Welcome to the Bet MGM studio. Eric Allen now joined by Fulorenzo Fatakasi for the two minute drill. Foley, listen, uh, you're a big guy. You like to get after people. Why don't you take us through practice today? It was a walkthrough. Was that difficult for you? <laughs> um, shoot, I think uh, from a mental standpoint, it stays the same. You know, uh, you understand that men mentally, you still got to stay locked in and go even more so as hard because it's a walkthrough. What's the vibe out there when you guys have been out on the practice field? Because from my vantage point, it seems like this is a hardworking group you're cohesive, you like playing ball, and there is a, a lot of positivity right now uh, from this team. Uh, you hit the nail on the head. I think there's a lot of positivity. I think there's a lot of belief. There's a lot of confidence. I think each guy understands what must get done. Um, and uh, I think every guy is enjoying this moment right now. When you look back to last summer, what happened and now, when you look at this summer, what are some of the things that you want to do to continue to work on? I just feel like, you know, as well as I did last year, it was great. It was a blessing, but you kind of mentally, you kind of got to do away with that and understand that this is a new year. This is a new time. Things start fresh. And I think now I have a better understanding of just the game in general. I just want to be, become better, get better, and uh, help my teammates and be where I need to be when, when they need me to be there. What do you think about some of the guys you're going against at practice each day? That is a remodeled offensive line. So I got to imagine these guys are giving you good looks. Uh, yeah, they're solid guys. They're guys that like, you know, they're guys so far that have great communication. They look like they have great cohesion and great uh, fluidity between each other. They're also very confident and they too, as well as the whole team understands that there, you know, there's a there's a plan ahead. You know, what I mean, there's a mission that needs to get done. So I'm confident, you know, in in myself, and I'm confident in everyone else, and everyone else is confident within each other. So, how deep is this defensive line group? And Henry Anderson was talking earlier today, saying that Quinn and Williams looks more explosive, and maybe he's poised for a breakout here in his second season, much like what we saw from you. Um, I think our D-line room is uh, filled with a bunch of great guys, guys that, you know, care about the game and care about each other and respect each other, you know, most of all. I'm very confident in Q, and uh, I feel like we're all confident in each other. So um, when it comes down to, you know, when the bullets need to fly, I think we're all excited at, you know, and what, and what we expect to be. Hey, I wanted to ask you what's going on off the field of course you guys still doing virtual meetings but mm -hmm. i've been hearing about these meetings and, and guys are speaking up and uh, i think guys have been engaged and it seems like you guys are navigating these uncharted waters quite well um i feel like like i said i feel like we have a lot of solid men you know in our locker room a lot of solid vets that understand that once they lead the way, you know what I'm saying, everyone else is gonna follow. I think uh, even though it's, like you said, uncharted territory, like no one has ever been here before, I feel like we're handling it pretty well and still being able to come into the building and come into practice and get done what we need to get done.